What's going on, everyone? This is the Kid DC Wrestling back at it again with another video. And today I have decided that we are going to once again go back in the past. We little jump in the time is wrestling time machine, I must say. And we're going back to January 30th, 2011, which for a lot of people, it was just a Sunday. But on this day for wrestling fans, this was the 2011 Royal Rumble match, the 24th annual Royal Rumble to be in fact. This was held in Boston, Massachusetts with over 15,113 people in attendance and the buy rate, of course, 476,000. Obviously, the biggest tagline of this show was the biggest Royal Rumble in history. What for the first time and only time at that point, the WWE, instead of doing their traditional 30-man Royal Rumble, they did their 40-man Royal Rumble. And before, like I said before, this was the biggest Royal Rumble at the time until, of course, 2018 in Crown Jewel, Saudi Arabia, when they did the greatest Royal Rumble. Instead of fit 40, they went to 50, which was obviously won by Braun Strowman. Now, um, I don't do a lot of retro reviews, so if you guys actually like when I do these kind of retro reviews, especially around these pay-per-view times, then I'll do more stuff like that. I like going back in the past and not just watching the shows, but, you know, really like putting in that nostalgia, especially with the year 2011, because you guys know 2011 was the year that I really get started getting into WWE. So, yeah. So looking back at this pay-per-view, I thought this was a pretty good show. For the most part, um, we kick things off with the World Heavyweight Championship match between Edge and Dolph Ziggler, where if Edge had to use the spear, he would have lost the title. Man, um, Edge and Dolph Ziggler, man, this match was highly underrated. Easily one of the best matches of the night, man. I'm telling you, man, Edge and Ziggler, like, you know, you look at it and you're like, are you sure, like, Edge and Ziggler have chemistry? But it showed, like, on this night, like, they did, you know... Obviously, if you you know can blur the fact that they have Vicky Guerrero, who was annoying, but then again, Vicky was playing her part as a heel. But like I said, man, Edge defeating Dolph Ziggler to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. This was a great match. This was a great opener, and um, yeah, this this was this was really good. And you know, for the longest time, this was obviously Edge's last Rumble. So what a way to have that underrated match with uh, Dolph Ziggler on the show. All right, next we had the WWE title being defended, The Miz taking on Randy Orton. Um, So The Miz was WWE champ, obviously, at this time. And, you know, The Miz overall WWE title reign for me was average, to say the least. You know, The Miz title reign wasn't bad, per se, but it wasn't great in any capacity. It was, it was average in any way, of shape, or form. As far as this match goes between him and Orton, I thought it was a solid match, to say the least. But in no, you know, as much as little me and me wanted Randy Orton to win back the title, The Miz obviously wins. So, you know, this whole leads to Randy Orton taking on Punk at 27, many a 27. But as far as this match goes, man, The Miz defeating Randy Orton is, is pretty decent, to say the least. So, yeah. All right, next we have the Fatal 4-Way match for the WWE Divas Championship. Eve Torres defeating Layla, Michelle McCool, and Natalia. So Eve Marie, I mean, Eve, Eve Torres wins the Divas title. I mean, what can you say about the Divas? This, this was around the time where, and I've said it in the other previous retro reviews that I've done. This was around the time where the Divas era was just, where the women were just, the bathroom breaks. I mean, they were, you know, and this was just another instance where you were getting ready to set up the main event. So, hey, you know, go get your popcorn, go get your snacks, go get your drinks, you know, use the bathroom because you know, you're about to sit through a long Royal Rumble. Um, and that's really all I got to say about the women. And speaking of the Royal Rumble, the 40-man Royal Rumble match for a world championship match at WrestleMania 27, which is weird because usually... You main event WrestleMania, but this WrestleMania, you, you didn't, um, you know, this is when they were really starting to make, like, when you won the Royal Rumble, instead of you actually main eventing, and by main eventing being the last match on the card, you know, it turns out that you're going to most likely compete in the semi-main event or even at the beginning of the show. And in this case, at WrestleMania 27, it was the first time that the World Heavyweight Championship, you know, taking on the Royal Rumble winner, opens up the show when it 
actually main events, but you know how it is. So after all that, Alberto Del Rio wins. And this, at the time, I thought was cool. Um, I know a lot of people didn't really like Alberto Del Rio, but obviously they were building... 2011, they were really building Alberto Del Rio as this star, obviously. I mean, he wins the biggest Royal Rumble. He takes on Edge. He wins the money in the bank. He becomes a two-time W champ. So they were obviously making Alberto Del Rio this main event player um, around this time period. <laughs> you know, judging by how he is now, but, um, nah, man, you know, it was that moment with him and Santino was freaking crazy because <laughs> there were people that were thinking Santino was going to win. And I'm going to admit for a short second, Santino might have won, but we, you know, it just, it didn't happen. Um, if I had to choose someone outside of Del Rio, I actually could have saw Cena win it, you know, Cena could have won it, John's the Miz, but we obviously saw how that went, you know, Cena, <laughs> wins the Elimination Chamber to become the number one contender and goes on to face Miz, and then we all know how that ended. So, um, probably outside of Del Rio, I probably would have went with Cena, you know. I, and outside of Cena, I think there's really no one else. Speaking of this Rumble, this Rumble, I don't remember having that many surprises. Like, you had Diesel, but then, like, who else did you have in this Rumble? It's like, I don't know. Um, obviously, they continued 30-man, you know, Royal Rumble, which is just traditional, you know, so... Yeah, but it wasn't a bad rumble. This was this Royal Rumble was pretty good for the most part. So I had no problems with this. And overall, I thought this pay per view event was pretty good for the most part. So yeah, uh, that has been my Royal Rumble 2011 retro review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe to the channel. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling, and so on. Yeah.